It's me, Bree Reads! Hi friends, it's me, Bree. Happy Halloween! Today, let's draw a picture together. Like this. Today, we're making a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. You'll need paper, a pen or marker to outline with, and colors. I'm using my favorite beeswax crayons. There's a link in the description to get your own. A pumpkin has bumps, right? So we're going to draw some bumps. Look at it this way. Yeah, I can still see those bumps. So let's start with that. Put your hand at the bottom of the paper. Do you see where your tall finger is? That's where we'll make the first two bumps. Hey, it looks a little bit like a bird flying in the sky. Caw, caw. Now let's make some wider, longer bumps. It's wide. It almost reaches the edge of the page. The same over here. Bump. Oh, we have a visitor. This is one of my new kittens, Ferdinand. Hi, Ferdinand. Well, now is not the time. I'll play with you later. <laughs> Anyways, where were we? Let's bring our bumps down to make that pumpkin shape. We'll start over here. Touch that line and bring it down to the bottom of the page. Next, we'll make a wave, a very small wave. Take this bump and bring it down to meet. Mwah! Now, that center bump right there, that's where we'll draw the stem. The stem comes up over and back down, a little bit curved. Next, we'll draw two more bumps. From the bottom of the stem here, bump over. The same on this side. From the bottom of the stem, bump. There. Next, we need eyes. I'll line them up with these two bumps. Hmm, what shape? We could make the classic triangle shape, or maybe ovals? Or how about something creative, like stars? Well, today I decided to draw the classic jack-o'-lantern triangle eyes. One and two. Next, we need a nose. What shape? Could it be uh, another triangle? Or maybe a heart? Now that's sweet. How about turned upside down? Or even a diamond could work. Yes, a small diamond. Well, today, again, I'll go with the classic. A small triangle shape, like this. Next, we need a mouth. Will our jack-o'-lantern be happy? Scary? Hmm, you decide for yours. We could do a big, goofy smile with teeth. <laughs> or we could make the jack-o'-lantern a little bit scary with jiggity jaggedy sharp lines. How about a Dracula vampire jack-o'-lantern with fangs? Or we could always go with a scared jack-o'-lantern, a big oval. Today, I decided to go with a goofy, smiling, kind of jolly jack-o'-lantern. I come down and make an open square shape for the tooth. The same over here. Back up in a smile. And now the bottom part of the smile. 
down and stop. Make that tooth and come back up again. To finish the pumpkin, we're going to make some lines. Just like that. Now I see some space up here. We can draw some bonus Halloween drawings. How about a moon? Make a C shape, the letter C. Then close it up. Next we'll make stars. Start with an arrow top, up. Next, over and over. A little slanty down and down. A little slanty out and out. And a little slanty back up and neat. Let's do it again. There. And on this side, there's room for a bat. Make a big letter U, a small letter U, and one more big letter U. Next, we'll go out. Draw a slanty line down. And over here, down. Next, we'll make a kind of rainbow shape, arch. Over here, arch. And again, one, two, three. And on this side, one, two, three. Oh, it's a little uneven, but in art, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. So I'll use my black marker and fill it in. And hey, since a bat is already black, I'll go ahead and color it in. I'll keep making small adjustments until my bat is just right the way I like it. When you're happy with it, it's time to color the rest. I'm using yellow. This is for the eyes, nose, and mouth of the jack-o'-lantern. You can put a candle inside, light it, and let the jack-o'-lantern glow. So I chose yellow for a glowing color. The moon and stars can be yellow too. Next, the pumpkin color. I've got two kinds of oranges, yellow orange and orange orange. Today, I'll choose the lighter orange. But you can choose whatever you want and whatever you have. After some time, I like to turn the page. And turn. And turn until it's all filled in. Wow, that looks nice. Next, we'll color the stem. I'm using dark brown. You can use a lighter brown or maybe even green. You are the artist. It's up to you. Now we could stop here, but I think this will look wonderful with a background. My purple crayon got a little broken, but not to worry, it still works. I'm using purple. Turn. And turn. I love the way these crayons look and the way they feel when I color with them. When it comes to the small stuff, I'm just careful to go around them.
It takes a lot of patience, but in the end, wow, it's beautiful. We did it. A spooky, fun Halloween drawing. Great job, friend. Ooh, I can't wait to see what you created. Thank you for drawing with me today. I want to see your jack-o'-lantern. You can find me on Instagram. Use the hashtag BreeDraws to show me. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.